come together today, generations of Emma girls, Emma parents, Emma supporters, Emma board members, Emma faculty and staff, to kick off an amazing 15 months of celebration and conversation surrounding our milestone 200th year at Emma Willard School. This is Kayla. The bicentennial launch started with an amazing rally in Kiggins as the entire student body gathered to take the streets of Troy. We each received a special gift fitting for a cold, crisp Troy night out. And this is Ying. Each student received a red scarf with the new school logo. The enthusiasm truly represented Emma Spirit at its best. Caravans of buses brought students, parents, alumni, and trustees to the Troy Music Hall. The students had a scavenger hunt that brought them to stores, restaurants, art galleries, and the Historical Society. A highlight for everyone was Trudy Hanmer autographing her history of the Emma Willard School, wrought with steadfast will in the neat marketplace bookstore. Then generations of Emma girls gathered in the Troy Music Hall for a program that celebrated the new and old. From our first planning meeting months ago, we committed ourselves to ensuring that the goal of the bicentennial would be so much more than a grand birthday party. It would be an opportunity to share with the world the rich legacy of our founder, even as we announced our 21st century commitment to her original vision, educational excellence for girls. I know Madam Willard is smiling as she looks down on us tonight. But I believe that even that entrepreneurial visionary could not have foreseen the extraordinary international success of her school for girls. The world's girls can find our beacon shining on nearly every continent in the world. The entire music hall took to their feet in a rousing standing ovation as Trudy Hedmer was introduced and shared a few highlights from her book. And well into the 20th century, both Troy and Emma Willard were destinations. Girls at Emma Willard rode trolleys to this very building to hear Paderewski, Horowitz, and Fritz Kreisler. They joined with the Trojans to hear Henry Ford when he dedicated his new plant on Green Island. They listened to lectures on flight by Amelia Earhart, on the discovery of King Tut's tomb by James Breasted, and the exploration of Antarctica Admiral Byrd. Emma Willard and Troy met together in the 19th century and are ready for their third century together. If Emma Willard were to return tonight, I think she would enjoy Troy. Thank you, Mayor, for being here tonight. We appreciate your partner with, partnership with Emma Willard School. And in honor of our shared history and our continued collaboration, I'd like to present you with a book, uh, Wrought with Steadfast Will. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> The whole history of Emma Willard's school says that we must continue to lead in the arena of girls' education. We have done so for 199 years by being true to our roots, by honoring the essence of our founders' innovative vision, by being a dynamic, progressive educational institution. We will lead the way around the country and around the world with integrity and courage with smarts and creative genius, as girls everywhere are depending upon us. We're ready for an incredible 15 months of events. We invite you to share in the excitement and celebration. <laughs>